We'll guide you through how to add a data pack to a Minecraft server. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So you may be hosting this server on your own computer through this application here, or you may be using a Minecraft server hosting provider. Either way, you can follow this guide. So data packs are really convenient as they allow you to go and alter the world essentially without having to go and get things like mod loaders and things like that. So they're really straightforward to go and use. But also if you're in the market for a Minecraft server hosting provider, because they are a lot better than hosting on your computer, then go and check out Apex Hosting. There'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. So many awesome features like 24 seven servers and support so you can get help anytime you need it. This is better than hosting on your computer, having to run it the whole time, and you can get help if you need it. Low latency, and there are so many other awesome features. And at the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. So if you're interested, as I said, there'll be a link down below. A big thanks to Apex for sponsoring this video. But to continue with the guide, first of all, we need to go and download a data pack we want to do this with. So if you've got one in mind, that's fine, go and get it, or you may already have it on your computer. But if you're yet to, then what we can do is go and browse sites for them. So the main sites I like to use is a site called Modrinth, which is modrinth.com or curseforge.com. So you can come here on curseforge, for example, select Minecraft. In categories, you can then select data packs. And in Modrinth, just go to the top and click on data packs. You can then browse through here and see the different data packs available. Now I do already have one in mind and that's called Vein Miner. I really like this data pack. Essentially you can mine a single ore and that goes and breaks all of them in that vein. So it just saves so much time. It's really useful if you're doing like a challenge or something like that. So what you can do is go and click on versions and we can then choose the version we want to download. First of all, make sure you are downloading the data pack because sometimes there are variants. I'm using Minecraft 1.21, so I'll click on the download button to the right like so, and it's downloaded. I've made a copy of the data pack onto my desktop just to make it easier to add. So what you want to do is go and shut down your server, and then what you need to do is go into the world folder and into data packs. And what you need to do is drag it in like so. Then you can start the server again and it will be installed. Now, if you're doing this in a web host, all you need to do is go to the files, the FTP files, so click there. We can then go and log in. Click on the world folder. In this case, mine's called MC and some numbers, so I'll click there. And then we can click on data packs. And what you can then do is click on upload over to the left. And what we can do is go and add it. After it's uploaded, we can press back and it should then go and appear there, as you can see. And we'll need to go and restart this server as well. Now here we are in the server and just to show this working, let me go and break one of the veins. And as you can see, they all break and I'll go and repeat that for the others. They do need to be a full vein for it to go and work. It's that simple. There are so many different data packs though you can go and add to your server. This is just one, but it is one of my favorites. If you guys found this useful and you want to go and see more guides just like this, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. We've got a ton of guides like this on the channel and a ton more to come.